Well, the latest politician to take the stage was the Chinese vice president. Our business editor, Stephen Carroll, was listening to what he had to say. Uh, Stephen, uh, the vice president then firing back um, to what Mike Pompeo, the U.S. Secretary of State, had to say yesterday. Um, what were we hearing from uh, the Chinese VP? Uh, Wang Shishan, not quite as frank in the terminology he was using to uh, criticize the United States, but there were certainly a few digs in his speech towards Washington. That's after Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said in his address yesterday uh, that he criticized China's state-centered economy, calling it embracing totalitarianism at home and naming it as one of the major risks facing the world. It Wang Shishan, the Chinese vice president, a little more measured in his response, talking about the Chinese vision for globalization, about China's economic development, but making reference to one of the key issues in the trade dispute between China and the United States, and that's technology, saying that just because, essentially, just because technology has developed unevenly in the world, i.e. largely in the United States, doesn't mean that it should dictate the policy around that, and saying that countries should be allowed to have their own domestic policies on technology, and that's a dig towards one of those key issues in the trade talks, which is US companies complaining about having to transfer technology to Chinese companies uh, when they do deals in China. Now, he was, the Chinese vice president was pushed on the US-China relations issue uh, by the founder of the World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab, in the questions after his speech. Uh, Wang Shishan very circumspect in his answers, uh, saying that if he, if Mike Pompeo declared himself an optimist as regards their relationship, then he was even more of an optimist over the issue, uh, but also saying that the US and China were mutually indispensable economies and that there must be mutual benefit to their relationship. Perhaps mirroring what Mike Pompeo had said, he said there needs to be a rebalancing of the relationship between the two countries. It seems that Wang Shishan was hinting towards the same thing. Stephen, thank you very much indeed. Stephen Carroll there uh, talking to us uh, from Davos in Switzerland today.